Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging algebraic equation. Equation is x plus 1 whole power 5 plus 2 minus x whole power 5 equal to x plus 2 whole power 5 plus 1 minus x whole power 5. We have to find out all possible solutions. So let's get started by considering minus common from this bracket and this bracket. Once I will take minus out, power is odd, so minus sign will come outside. So let me write here x plus 1 as it is whole power 5. Then I will be writing minus x minus 2 whole power 5. Right hand side, this term x plus 2 whole power 5 as it is. And then this bracket I will take minus out, minus 1 raised to the power 5, that will be minus. So minus will be outside. I will write x minus 1 whole power 5. Now I will consider this minus sign term to the other side. This I will take to the left and this term I will take to the right. So equation will become x plus 1 whole power 5 plus x minus 1 whole power 5. In right hand side it will be x plus 2 whole power 5 plus x minus 2 whole power 5. Now you can see Pascal triangle and binomial expansion is on. So I will use now Pascal triangle first for power 5 1 1 1 for power 2 1 2 1 for power 3 1 3 3 1 for power 4 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. For power 5, which is required in this case, 1, 5, so 4 plus 6, 10, 6 plus 4, 10, 4 plus 1, 5, and 1. So here are the coefficients for our expansion. So I will use this expansion for both the sides respectively. These coefficients we will use. So let's consider one by one. LHS first. So I will be writing x plus 1 whole power 5 plus x minus 1 whole power 5. This simplification we are going to find out. So let me write here expansion of x plus 1 whole power 5. If you will write, see our coefficients was 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So I will write First term as it is with coefficient 1, 1 is done. Plus coefficient is 5. Let me write here 5 x power 4. Second term is 1. So no need to write that term. This, this is 1 actually. So not required. Now come to the coefficient 10. I will write 10 decrease this power of x by 1. Now next 10 I will write 10 x square. Next is 5, so I will consider 5x. And last term is 1, so I will be writing only 1. Now let me write here x minus 1 whole power 5. Now it will be x power 5. Where it is going to change? It, it will be minus here, x power 4, because minus 1 raised to the power 1, that is minus 1, plus 10x cubed minus 10x square, alternate plus minus, then 5x, then minus 1. Now our expression is ready. Left hand side simply add both the sides. Let me write here x plus 1 whole power 5 plus x minus 1 whole power 5. So which term will be over? These two over, these two will be over and last these two plus minus 1 will be over. So I will be writing 2 times x power 5 plus 10x cube plus 5x. Now we have to consider this simplification is done. Now I will consider x plus 1 whole power 5. It was 1 is done. x plus 2 whole power 5 plus x minus 2 whole power 5. So in one flash I will write how it is. I will write like this 
x plus 2 whole power 5 and then I will put minus sign. Okay, let me write here. Coefficients are 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1 as it is. So, let me begin with 1. 1 times x power 5. Okay, x power 5 plus next coefficient is 5. 1 decrement in the power of x, x power 4. And now this term will come at 2 raised to the power 1. Then next coefficient is 10. 1 decrement in the power of x. 1 increment in the power of 2. Sum will be 5 always. The exponent, the power sum. Next coefficient is 10. x is square 2 cube. Next coefficient is 5. x 2 power 4. And last is 1. So I will be writing 2 power 5. Done. Now I will use minus. So let me write here itself minus sign. So where it is going to impact, this would be minus, this would be minus and last term would be minus. So once I will add both, I will be writing where I have considered here plus minus sign, that term will be over. So what is left? This term, this term and which term is pending? This one is remaining. So let me write what I will get two times this would be equal to 2 times in bracket x power 5. Then I will write this is 4. This is 4 times 10, 40. So I will be writing 40x cube. Done. Now this is 16 and times 5. 16 times 5 is 80. 80x. So right hand side it would be 2 times x power 5 plus 40x cube plus 80x and left hand side is 2 times x power 5 plus 10x cube plus 5x. See these two values are now known. Let us put this value as per our equation. Equation was x plus 1 whole power 5 plus x minus 1 whole power 5 equal to x plus 2 whole power 5 plus x minus 2 whole power 5. Now I will write both the results. So it was plus 1 was I will be writing 2 times x power 5 in the bracket plus 10x cube plus 5x. Right hand side if you will write then 2 times x power 5 plus 40x cube plus 80x. Now let us cancel whatever we can. 2 and 2 will be over. Then you will be writing x power 5. x power 5 again it will be over. So what is left? Let me write here. 10x cube plus 5x equal to 40x cube plus 80x. Okay, I will consider all the term to one side. Suppose I am going to take to the right hand side. So 40 minus 10, 30x cube. 80 minus 5, 75x equal to 0. Now I can consider x common. So in bracket I will be writing 30x square plus 75 equal to 0. Now I can divide this equation with 5 also. So I will be writing, once I will divide with 5, then I will be writing 6x square, 5 6 are 30 and 15 5 are 75. Again it is divisible by 3. So let, let us write as it is. f dot g equal to 0. So I will be writing either x is equal to 0. This is one solution. Or 6x square plus 15 equal to 0. So now this equation I will solve. Let me solve here itself. I will be writing 6x square equal to minus 15. Let's divide with 3. So I will be writing 2x square is equal to minus 5. Now you can see x square is equal to negative 5 over 2. Once square is negative means solution is complex. 
so i can write in the next step x square will be this minus sign is i square now consider square root both sides we will have two complex solution let's consider plus minus square root 5 over 2 i so this is our complex pair of solution so one solution is x equal to 0 and the other two solutions are complex plus minus square root 5 over 2 i okay now let us verify verification for only real values x equal to 0 see what will happen here we'll have 1 power 5 here we'll have 2 power 5 here we'll have 2 power 5 here we'll have 1 power 5 1 plus 32 equal to 32 plus 1 33 is equal to 33 which is true so x is equal to 0 is verified solution so i will write x is equal to 0 is our ultimate and only solution if real solutions are concerned otherwise we can write x is equal to plus minus i 5 over 2 so these two are complex valued solution i hope this video will be meaningful to you do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video friends good luck and take care of yourself